What is going on guys and gals, Tyler here, and today, instead of something Mortal Kombat X related, I'd like to talk about some of the greatest rumor characters in Mortal Kombat as a whole. Now back when I was a small child, I used to spend my days practically studying Mortal Kombat lore and the entire franchise. Now where did I get my information? Numerous places, but primarily a little site called the Combat Pavilion. That site was my childhood, and had lots of secrets and little known information about the Mortal Kombat franchise. So, after spending many of my days simply researching a fictitious video game franchise and watching videos in horrible quality, I came across a page about rumored Mortal Kombat characters. Of course, there were the obvious rumored characters such as Ermac and Blaze, both of whom made the games, but there were many more strange and otherwise interesting characters that I had a ball researching. So very recently, I came across the ancient site, the Combat Pavilion, once more, and that, that's, when I re that's when I remembered all the fond memories I had while researching the game. Then I thought, hey, why don't I just make a video showing off all of the Mortal Kombat fans and I'm mean, showing off some of the characters that the Mortal Kombat fans may never have heard of. Now before I continue with the characters, I'd like to mention that I will be talking about a few characters that I've talked about before, so this should answer many questions about who I was talking about in previous videos. Now without further ado, let's get on with the video. First character, Nimbus Terrafo. Nimbus Terrafo was supposedly an African American male kickboxer who was in Mortal Kombat 2. Nimbus was one of the characters with the most notoriety, although he has never been made into an official character by Netherrealm, or at the time Midway, which is surprising given their track record. He supposedly only appeared on the Genesis version of Mortal Kombat 2. Here's what he looks like. The rumor was started after those two pictures were sent to EGM Magazine by a fan in March of 1994. To get Nimbus, according to the fan, you have to input an absurdly arduous code within a short period of time. Of course, nobody has been able to find the infamous Nimbus Terrafo, but rumors are still out there of his existence in Mortal Kombat 2 on the Genesis. Second character, Hornbuckle. Hornbuckle, a character that I have mentioned numerous times in my previous videos. If you've ever played in the pit arena in Mortal Kombat 2, you definitely noticed a fighter on fire, who later became Blaze, and, an and another green fighter, and another green fighter, and they're both fighting on another platform. That green fighter, who in reality was just a green palette swap of Liu Kang, was dubbed as Hornbuckle by the fans, and the flaming one, Blaze. In the console versions of Mortal Kombat, Jade would sometimes say, Hornbuckle who? as a nod to the ever-growing rumors of Hornbuckle's existence in the games. In December of 1994, it was reported that Hornbuckle was, play was playable in EGM magazine. The magazine stated that he was near impossible to beat, and that he had a projectile attack that utilized literally every single fire, um, fireball projectile in the entire game. I would read to you how to unlock Hornbuckle, but the list is so incredibly long and pointless that it would just be a waste of time, and I could honestly probably make three videos just talking about it. So of course, Hornbuckle was never made into a character, but he will forever be in the hearts of Mortal Kombat fans across the globe. Oh yes, and for those who are wondering, he is said to appear exactly like Liu Kang, just with a green bandana and a green stripe on his pants. Somewhat like this rendition shown here. Third character, Emerald. Emerald, personally my favorite rumored character. Emerald was rumored to be a Melina-like character who appeared back in Mortal Kombat 2. She apparently wore a different shade of green from Jade and had blonde, brownish hair instead of black. It is unknown whether she's aligned with good or evil, but it is, sus it is, um, oh, sorry. It is thought of that she, at one point, was made a slave by Shao Kahn, or at least that's what the rumors state. She was claimed to be in Mortal Kombat by Game Informer, Mortal Kombat 2 actually, by Game Informer back in late March of 1994. Fun fact about the issue, they claimed that there were five characters that were hidden within the game. They told us how to get Smoke and Jade and gave information, and then they didn't give information on how to find Snoob or another character. To this day, nobody has found the two secretive characters, that being Emerald and another mystery character, but it, they were rumored. To fight Emerald means you have to waste a lot of time, and just like nearly, other, nearly every other rumor, the only way to fight her is by doing so many mundane tasks that one could write a book about it. The strange thing about this article is that unlike the other two rumors which were submitted by random people and fans, this rumor was, sta was stated by ar the article writers, and they were correct on how to find Jade and Smoke. Same with their descriptions. So is it possible that they weren't lying about finding Emerald? At the time of the article, not too many people had found Jade or Smoke, so it isn't likely they just stole the idea on how to get them from other people. It is very likely that they did find Jade or Smoke in one sitting, so it would pretty much be- 
be pointless of them to lie about there being two other characters, not including Noob. Now, I would show you an image of Emerald, but I'm afraid there aren't very many out there, so we'll just have to go with this image from Mortal Kombat 9 that nearly undoubtedly shows Emerald. Fourth character, Pedro. Pedro, the funniest character ever to be brought into the Mortal Kombat franchise, or rumored to be brought in. Pedro was very simple. He was just some Mexican guy in dirty street clothes, who upon winning would call for Shao Kahn to say, Pedro wins, in a Mexican accent. Also, a fun fact about Pedro is that he a that he accidentally inspired Boraicho's fatality, as his was the fart fire. Here's an image of the one and only Pedro. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I was wondering, do you guys want to see me make this into a series? Because there are a lot of new characters, like a, a lot of rumored characters out there that I didn't even mention. Like Red Robin, and, you know, I'm not going to spoil anymore, but there's a lot of rumored characters out there. So yeah, comment down below what you thought of this video, if you liked it, and if you want me to make this out of, into a series. Also, be sure to like the video, and hey, while you're at it, you might as well subscribe for more awesome Mortal Kombat and gaming content. My name is Tyler, and I am out.